next like to invite Professor Ashok Junjunwala to tell us a little bit more detail about the IIT Madras Incubation Center. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think, I don't know how many of you have noted that in this budget speech of Finance Minister, he has said that of all the CSR funds that any company is going to spend, 2% has to be in officially recognized incubators within educational institute. So uh, this is something, one of the things that we have been trying to push for with the finance ministry, that there has to be larger government participation in incubation and uh, even the company participation and things are getting pushed in that direction. Let me just give a slight different twist. Already a lot has been talked about what this incubation cell is and what are we trying to do. Uh, the first important thing that I want to point out that uh, as Bhaskar has said, India has, uh, IITM has a very rich tradition of industry academia <coughs> interface. Uh, I remember in early 80s, the, there was a very strong interface in civil engineering department between IIT and um, the industry and then ocean engineering started taking it up and electrical engineering took up. So one by one there has been a very strong uh, tra tradition and this is probably I also want to say in terms of industry academia interface. I was recently with uh, the secretary uh, of MHRD and he sort of felt that certainly IIT Madras is probably the number one institute in terms of industry academia interface. Any incubation. I think what has been missed out that Tenet has been incubating companies for long, long. I remember the first company we incubated was 1984. Was with one of our alumni. And then from 1994 onwards, we incubated a whole lot of companies. Something like 23 to 24 companies I had counted was incubated by IIT Madras before even any formal setup was actually done. Um, and this has uh, kind of been the background. Of course, in all those incubations were not formally recognized as incubators. In fact, um, it was largely done, I'll say, under the table. But also product development. Uh, in IIT Madras has been very rich tradition of product development. Now, whether I talk about the products that some of us were involved in early 80 or late 80s in terms of um, uh, laboratory equipments. Uh, we made a fiber optic educator kit, we made a communication educator kit, LAN educator kit. And then I remember that I, uh, Rajendra Mutha, the uh, CEO of uh, um, Research Park, tells me that we had actually made a um, LAN extender, which basically used some kind of a DSL. And even today, when he goes to small towns, he finds that those equipment are lying there and are actually working in many, many parts of the country. Of course, Codec Wireless in Local Loop was probably much more known. Vortex ATM is really making a uh, very important uh, um, beginning. It is really going fairly deep with more than 10,000 ATM orders now. I think the low cost building construction at Dildas Menon and Mayor Prasad started. I don't know how many of you have seen. There is a building that is getting constructed, started last Thursday. In 29 days, the complete building will be put up. So this is the kind of strength that IIT Madras had. Now, these are just some of the examples. There are probably many, many more examples. And of course, I think it is because of all this, the research park was actually done. And part of the reason research park has been success succeeded so well, that there is not even a thousand square feet of space left in research park. We have been turning away the companies, in spite of the fact that every company which comes there has to do fairly significant amount of interaction with IIT. This is the rich tradition. And as we've been pointing out, it has incubators. RTBI was one of the incubators. Tenet Group they took the initiative and started this. Is a, as it was pointed out, Basket is probably the only DST supported incubator which will qualify today for the 2%. Uh, CSR. Others will not. We until we create the structure, the IITM incubation cell will we do the first thing. See types, 15 companies, 17 companies have been incubated and bio-incubated. I think more detail will be talked about it in, uh, uh, in uh, a little later. And 
it has driven innovations, um, not just in department and in, the, and in its industrial interface. There has been, of course, a lot of in innovations taking place, a lot of innovative ideas have come. But formally, we launched Center for Innovation, Center for Societal Innovation and Entrepreneurship, and I think the most important, probably, which is going to contribute very significantly, is IITM Entrepreneurs Forum, which we are probably today launching, um, an initiative by IIT Madras alumni. And involving in raising awareness on campus helps provide students with apprenticeship in a startup, mentorship in expertise. Now, with all this there, IITM board has adopted. The question is, why? Why has um, is there, the natural question is, why do we need anything more than that? And I think this is a question that came to all our minds when we were actually doing this, and yet uh, IITM board adopted a business incubation policy as late as uh, last uh, September, October, that IITM will encourage entrepreneurship amongst its faculty, staff, research scholars, and students, uh, as well as external startups using either mentorship or consultancy from IIT faculty or using technologies IP developed in IIT. This is the, one of the key aspects in the policy. I think far more important it is recognized that incubation has a great benefit to the institute and it has a great benefit to the society at large. And further on it, it recognized, which I think again has been recognized by the, uh, by the uh, finance minister now, that it also contributes to economic research and something. And I think that's what we are actually trying to contribute to. So what did it do? It defined a governance structure for IITM incubation squad. There was no governance structure. There was a very loose governance structure. In fact, many of the companies, RTBI had formalized some of them. Today, every company that gets, gets incubated, I, RTBI has some shares. But for all the other companies that we have incubated in C-Tides uh, or in uh, probably even the bioincubator, <coughs> IITM doesn't even own the, own the share. So I think that had to be defined. But that's only a smaller part. I don't think that in itself would have been a smaller part. P policy was defined if IITM contributes, faculty contributes, if students contribute, what will be the kind of fair share, what are the rules go governing IITM's IP, engagement process, conflict of interest, as Bhaskar has pointed out, what happens if a uh, if we see that there is a conflict of interest, the faculty is actually doing some work at uh, IITM and also actually using it in this company, how do we really go about doing this? I think this is an important component, but I think that's not what we are alone trying to do. And it has created the governing council and the steering committee consisting of some alumni and faculty. We need to expand that. This was quickly created sometime about a month back and we are going to further act. But was it only about formalization? I don't think so. I don't think it was a formalization. Formalization would have been a, something different. Uh, I feel that the ad hoc activity, or I'll say um, it, was, it was kind of inspired here and there by individual faculty. That needs to continue. That will continue. There, will be, there are three incubators today. Tomorrow there may be many. But it is not just that. We need to, objective is to give a much larger plus to incubator. I think we have. We have to pretty much, we want to see that IIT Madras become the lead as far as the entrepreneurship in the <coughs> Leverage RTBI, C types, bio incubator, CFI, CSI, IIT Research Park, ICSR, faculty and staff expertise, and alumni relationship. All this we need to add its contacts with industry, banks, and venture capital. What we need to do is drive enthusiasm of students and research scholars and faculty to take IITM to new heights. We'd like to see that IIT Madras incubate at least 25 companies every year. And I think this is very reachable. Hmm? Some of them will not survive. Hmm? Some of them may reach early commercial stage, digestion stage, and then don't, will not proceed further. But at least if you create 25, at least we expect three, four, five to become a brand name. That's a kind of idea that we have. We need to contribute to product development. I think that's one of the key things. The, 
The, the objective is that products, making products in India, manufacturing products in India is so key to the India's resurgence. Today, much of the problems are taking place when we are just importing pretty much everything. And we believe that this entrepreneurship will contribute to product interface. And will also enhance industry academia relationships towards benefit of institute, society, and country, and strength and students, scholars learning. This is what we are trying to do. So it will become much larger. So what are we trying to do? To begin with, we have taken a space at TCOE IIT Madras today, because that was the only space that was available. We were able to identify 2,000 square feet. And from the 1st of March, that space belongs to us. We've just put a name board. There's nothing going on. But there is space. Now, we can start from putting people out there, newly incubated companies. But I think much more we will see to it as a mentorship, technology, health, business acumen is done. Relationship with angel funds, startup funds, VC funds. We need to start carrying out training programs. And this is something, I'm not talking about IIT courses, I'm talking about training programs. There has been one or two efforts. We need to do it consistently again and again. Uh, we will have, a, as Bhaskar pointed out, in-house company secretary, account desk, IP desk, which will provide. We already have some of those things in, in IIT AM Research Park, and we can actually extend this to this. Um, we need to do monitoring. Very, very important. Whenever, uh, I, this is something that uh, has been told to me by several angel fund and venture fund that with IIT names associated, or even the government, we come and give money to the institute uh, and to the incubated company. What happens if somebody runs away with it? Now, there's only a remote possibility. But there has to be some mechanism to ensure that serious effort is done. We take responsibility of that. And I think that's, that becomes very important. Monitoring first that things are done correctly, legally. Not, not all the legal processes are followed. It's very important that we do this. There have been times when many, many companies in the country have not followed all the processes. We want to see that our companies that we grow are of different time, but uh, uh, they actually take up a different direction. They try to be compliant in every way to be law compliant. And then, of course, we will work out a agreement with IIT. As has been pointed out, we are now building the research park too. And the building too. In fact, architect is meeting us tomorrow. And in fact, one of the questions that has been thrown again and again at me, how much space do we want? And I don't have a clear answer. But we do need to really get much larger space. Do we need space which is uh, which is a plain space where we can pretty much put cubicles or put some desks? Or do we need special spaces? Do we need spaces where some special things can be done? I think this is something that we need to really think, start thinking. And I hope my steering committee and other committee, the bio-incubator, the others who work in chemical engineering, etc., start giving us guidance that no, we want some facilities like this. I think we need to we need to do that as early as possible so that we can actually create that. But I think basically what I'm pointing out that there is going to be a very strong entrepreneurship effort. Bhaskar is already talking about we are even going to allow credits in the courses. We are going to create MS in entrepreneurship and things like that. We, we are going to make it a very important component of the institute because we see that is a very important component. Uh, and, but I think we will also like individual enthusiasm and individual uh, innovativeness to come out in different ways and try out new things and succeed, fail. It doesn't really matter. I think failures are very important. But the most important lesson that we need to learn is that we need to fail multiple times before we succeed. And therefore, um, that entrepreneurship is about multiple failures before you succeed. And I think this is something that we will provide environment where people can fail and fail and then succeed. Thank you very much. This is what